So I'm on a panel. And the only thing I want to do is come on the panel and express my experience in religion and my experience is that I found that it was all make-believe. I found that it was all fairy tales. I found that this God and these prophets and all this stuff that I was taught to from a child, regardless whether it was Christianity or whether it was Islam, my conclusion and my observation is that such does not exist. It's all fairy tales, mythology. There's no power in God. If you don't do it, it won't get done. It's simple as that. There's nobody from the dead. There's nobody. There's no um, invisible being, some most high, some creator that's going to help us do anything. Maybe that's the reason why we are a bunch of losers waiting for some divine savior, some uh, superhero to come and save us. <clears throat> so I'm just expressing myself and I'm, and it's all great. I'm ready to, to, to go. So here comes this fool, calls himself Judah Nasarasahai, whatever the hell that is. He comes from the, the uh, fictional kingdom of of Israel something I, I don't know I don't know <laughs> here he comes screaming and hollering and he wants to blame me because God didn't do a damn thing for me this is when you speak and you come up out of this brainwashing of religious dogmatism and you begin to tell other people I would advise you to rethink, re-examine what you've been taught. Don't believe that cartoon stuff. People like this go bonkers. Here, he, here this fella is. Clearly, he must have some age on him. Look like he got a gray beard. So he must be at least 45, 50-something years old. You too old to act the way he does. Now, here we are. At the Realities Temple on Earth, we want to heal. We had enough of this arguing and nastiness. We had enough of that last year. And so this year, we seek to avoid confrontation. We seek to, to uh, avoid uh, negative things. And here's this clown messing up my peaceful groove. But he's supposed to be religious. This God's supposed to be loving and peaceful and all that. No. Religion, all these religions come into being because of violence. The reason why we think the way we think is because these things was forced upon the masses of the people and passed on from generation to generation as a reality when it's all false. It's all lies. This clown going to call me a coon. This guy going to threaten me with death because I reject the belief in some most high God crap. So, now, if you can show clear, convincing, and overwhelming evidence that uh, your God exists, then... There's no, there's no reason to believe. That's an actual fact. I ask these people to bring their God to the live stream. I don't want to talk to you, Judah. God can speak for himself. And that's another thing. This most high, which don't really have a name, I guess. He never said what the name. They don't claim authorship of the Bible. They don't claim authorship of the Quran. He just said, Holy Quran. It was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. It just said Holy Bible. 
a King James Version, usually. This God, invisible being, does not um, claim the holy books. Mind you, he's talking all this white man, the white man this, and if it wasn't for the white man, you wouldn't have a Bible. If it wasn't for the white man, you matter of fact, you cannot even read the book without translators. The book has to be translated into... I don't even like looking at this. He, he looks stupid. And he claims to be some kind of Israelite. He's married to an Asian lady. How, how does that work? You're talking all this black stuff, married to an Asian. Uh, you're supposed to be from the house of Israel, something crap, whatever. How, how do, The whole thing is confusing. How does it work? So the best thing he can do, holler and scream and threaten people with death. That's what they do. They think if they can scare you with death. Uh, <laughs> this fella made a claim, talk about his God has killed before. And he said this man, he smite him with death and his God killed him. I said, how? He never did answer how. Right now, there's an in investigation into the January 6th insurrection of Washington, D.C., the Capitol. They are trying to connect Donald Trump to actually like giving the order or whatever to cause that insurrection. You have to have evidence. You have to have something tangible. So he making claims, talking about God killed this man. What is the evidence? How was it done? Where's your evidence? I don't need no evidence. That's why it's called belief. You can't get angry at nobody because they don't believe what you say on face value. That's how religion got around the earth because it was forced on people and they took it on face value as some kind of reality. Now, he wants to say because he's a special Negro because he was stabbed 17 times and didn't die. There's a lot of people who have been shot, stabbed in accidents and they survive. And I'm very sure uh, you can do a Google search, do YouTube. People that have survived uh, trauma, accidents, being shot. I can guarantee you, a lot of them, they don't believe in your most high, sir. So you're not the only one that can get stabbed 17 times and survive. It's a lot. It's, it's people who've been shot directly in the head and survive. You're not the only one that experienced the UFO crap. I seen it myself. Not only me. But there were other people out there. It's called unidentified flying object. We don't know what we saw. That's why it's called unidentified. You did not touch it. You did not examine it. You have no pictures of you with it. It's unidentified. We don't know. And whatever it was, clearly it wasn't interested in your happy ass, sir. <laughs> Dumbass. He talks about the reason why God didn't do nothing for me because of me. Because I'm unrighteous. I was stalking somebody. That's why God, first of all, those are accusations. And we keep I keep I keep asking we keep asking this man for proof. I have no criminal record, sir. Those are accusations. Anybody can allege and accuse you of anything. Where's your evidence? I have no criminal record, sir. He didn't a a answer that either. He did, he, he did not answer how his God killed this man. Where's the evidence? You're making claims. Where's the evidence? Now, here's a person talking about righteousness. And talking about being good and, and the wicked. Hear this fool. Steady cursing and hollering and screaming. Profane, nasty, vulgar. Not, because you can't prove what you're talking about. This is 2022. 
And many, many people are waking up out of that religious nonsense. You're too old for that. Religion ain't no better than believing in Santa Claus. It's the same concept, except it's for an adult. All his reference, he has no reference outside the Bible. Folks was asking him to explain this and show that. And the only thing that he referenced is the Bible. You a Negro born in America. How the hell did an Israelite, somebody in a foreign country, get over here? Explain that, sir. How did you get over here? And whatever they, and even if they were Israelites, when they came here, you're not. You're a descendant. And, you, and your DNA is all mixed up. You are an admixture. And who taught you these things? Who taught you that you was an Israelite? There's no Israelite that taught you nothing. All this comes from the person that you run in your mouth talk about the white man, this and all everything about you is the white man. You don't know nothing else. Nobody from no Israelite person, no Hebrew taught you anything. You want me to believe in God. Bring God to the why do we have to talk to you? God should be able to. God can speak for him or herself or whatever invisible being, spirit, whatever it is. Come on the live stream. Hit the link. Come on the live stream. They don't need you. Don't need you at all. These are brainwashed monsters. And he's very, very talking all that violent stuff. This is 2022. I guess your old ass is going to be, is depending on your God to do all the fighting. Now, chances are he's over there in Japan. And his wife is taking care of him. What are you doing? How are you making a living? Your God ain't taking care of you. That's for sure. Talking all this Israelite stuff. And you living in Asia. Married to an Asian woman. The whole thing is messed up. And you actually have folks that give him a pass. It's mind-boggling. It's, it's, the whole thing is mind-boggling. Talk about nationality. Where's your nation at? And whatever it is, it don't exist no more. How are you going to be part of a nation that no longer exists? Oh, your God, 3,000 years from now, is going to bring back your nation. I guess. <laughs> he got all, this bro got all these chains around his neck like you, like he's a rapper. You know, hip, hop, hippie, hippie to the most high, hip to the hip to hip to hop to hip to the most high. <laughs> The so-called Negro in America is such a clown. It's such a, it's, it don't make any sense. We said we go for anything, believe anything. Don't think that's your problem, sir. You, you don't think worth a damn. Tell me he's some kind of intellectual or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, I'm supposed to be the crazy person. And somebody said in the chat room, uh, Angel's supposed to be the crazy person. This this cat here. Acting so wild and wacky, run the crazy person away. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. I just had to get that off my chest. This this cat is a clown. You know me, Angel. Know you from what? <laughs> I know you crazy. <laughs> 